Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another Vlog Thursday shooting edition. Shooting a Canik today, the Canik TP9 V2. I actually got this gun from jngsales.com and wanted to bring it out for a first shots video. Have not shot it yet. I've had this thing in my possession for like a month or more and then, man, it's been burning a hole in my pocket, so to speak, or holster, I guess. But uh, just show, opening up the box and showing you what it comes with, obviously there is a Serpa type holster, not a Serpa, but a Serpa-like holster that the Canik comes with, molded with the Canik brand on there. Uh, by the way, Canik, Janik, whatever you want to call it, uh, I'll go with the American pronunciation uh, just because I feel like it. Comes with one spare magazine. There's another magazine in the gun right now. It is loaded, and I'll take that out in just a second. It also comes with a couple different varieties of making this into your holster. One for sort of, you know, clipping it on and going over the uh, waistband and down inside. Then one for going through your belt. So a lot of different ways to adjust that and to uh, make this something that you could carry either at the range for training, for concealed carry, uh, possibly, if uh, if it suits your needs. But uh, there it is, and that's what you get. You've also got a little magazine loader, as you can tell, right there. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. One of the biggest, most attractive features with this gun is the price tag. It's incredibly affordable. And if I'm not mistaken, we're looking at something like $300 for a Canik. That's incredible, guys. Yeah, and with all of that stuff that you saw, that's what you get when you buy a Canik. Does it live up to that price? Is it reliable? That's uh, yet to be seen in my case, but uh, it's got a great reputation, reputation so far from everything I've heard. And yeah, I'm just excited to try it. I love the um, the reset of the trigger. I tend to like to pull back on the slide up here, say what you will about you know, checking the chamber and so forth, but I like to be able to do that. It's really slick up here. There's nothing really to hold on to, and the fact that it also kind of tapers down makes it a little difficult for you to get a, a good purchase on it. You can always grab it from the back of the slide, which is you know, serrated properly as it ought to be. You can always grab it from there if you want to press check your gun, but uh, there it is. Stick around, I'm gonna come back with a couple of uh, fully loaded magazines. In fact, here they are right now. And through the miracle of television, there we are fully reloaded with one and two magazines. That is a great trigger. So I got a, got a really nice short reset to it. Um, it's light, not a lot of travel, and just feels good. Getting a little more comfortable with the gun. Very, very comfortable to shoot. Very ergonomic, fantastic trigger. I've only put obviously four magazines through it, but no hot spots that I can tell. And uh, the controls are completely intuitive. Obviously, your magazine release right there, that's a hot slide. Magazine release right there. Uh, your takedown switches are right there. So that'll work much like a Glock or anything else you're familiar with where you uh, disengage that trigger, pull down on those, or pull the slide back a little bit like that. Release it like that, and it comes apart very much in the same way you've seen other guns come apart. And then, of course, bringing it back is just that, and it's ready to shoot again. Uh, an interesting thing about it is you do have this decocker here on the top, which you can reach with your thumb if you really wanted to. It's ambidextrous, so you could actually get it with your finger as well, or your index finger if you wanted, but that would decock the gun, like so. And then you've got a nice long double action pull. 
I haven't done any double action shots with it. I'll do that in the full review later on. But you can see that there's that potential for the double strike capability if you like that. And then obviously you just recock it and then you've got that, and you take up basically the what would be that double action pull. And then it uh, just comes to this point right here where it's a short break, just like that. And then again, the reset, we'll try to demonstrate the reset for you. Wow, that's a short reset. Wow, I love it. There's definitely gonna be a full range review coming up with velocity testing, accuracy testing, etc. And I'm gonna shoot a lot more of this gun before I dedicate it to, what, I don't know, a car safe or something like that. 300 bucks and it comes with basically everything that you need to get it range ready, training ready, whatever, kit ready. That is pretty impressive. And in the short amount of rounds that I put through the Canik TP9 today, I'm impressed. I'm a late Boy Scout. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.